we're gonna do a little follow-up. We got Timber back. Uh, Timber, tell me how you did overnight again. Uh, very well. Yeah? Uh, no pain? No pain. You didn't need a pain medicine? I, no pain medicine. You took the antibiotics? I did. Okay, and this drained a little bit. I can see uh, Gummy Jean just took the dressing off. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and pull this packing out, and then we're gonna squirt in some lidocaine to give you a little, a little pain relief and then we're gonna have to repack it for the weekend. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, on two, one, ooh. Oh, she learned from that the best. That was like 10. She totally cheated you on your you okay? three. Yeah, I did feel a little burnt. A little sting there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a look down into the wound now. Eee, it looks like an eye. Well, an eye socket. Yeah, <laughs> an eye socket. It's looking pretty good. All right, now let's get that numbing medicine in there. Just a little squirt. This is such an easy step, and I, and I hope that there are a lot of providers out there that are watching this because, you know, when I was trained in medical school, we didn't do this. The lidocaine? We just, yeah, we just repacked them. I mean, it was like, okay, take a deep breath and hang on, pal. This is going to hurt. You know, you want some rawhide to bite down on? Well, that's how we were taught. You know, that's wrong. Yeah. You don't have to do that. We can squirt a little medicine in there, and uh, it'll, it actually works. works just fine. Well, let's just put it this way. It helps a lot, you know? All right, so we're going to take a two-minute break, and then we'll come right back. A couple of minutes, and we're going to get Gummy Jean now to go ahead and let's get this packed. Now, uh, Timber, if it hurts, just tell us we'll slow down. She's going to take her time, and she's yeah. just going to kind of slowly put the ribbon back in. And this is iodoform gauze, which is uh, basically um, gauze that's impregnated with an uh, iodine. Impregnated? Product. Impregnated, that's what you say, yeah. It has stuck to it and in between the fibers an iodine product which is an antiseptic and a natural kind of uh, antibiotic you don't feel any pain do you did it hurt bud no i'm good so she's gonna keep poking and she's gonna make it kind of tight in there we want this to stay open all the way to the bottom so the healing can occur from the inside out we do want you to keep taking those antibiotics over the weekend though right okay okay I'm glad you didn't have enough pain to need uh, a pain pill yesterday. That's good. Go, Gumby, go. It feels weird. It's okay. You have to tuck it up in there, okay? Because uh, there's kind of a there's kind of a pouch that this thing formed. Yep, that's the direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel a little of that? I did. I'm sorry. Yeah. She's a mean one, I tell you. <laughs> I was wondering how all of this stuff fit. In this tiny hole that I thought was tiny. It's not tiny. But it's actually deep. Yeah, you said it was an inch and a half or so. Oh, absolutely. And if you need my help, you just say, uh, I need okay. your help. And I will be happy to uh, change positions with you here and give you the camera. I think I got it. You're doing great. You feeling any pain, buddy? No, I'm good. Good. That uh, lidocaine works fast. I want you to get every bit of that in there. I know you can do it. <laughs> I have faith in you, Gummy Jean. Look at that little bit more. She's almost got it done there, Mr. Timber. Okay. Push that in there. There you go. All right. All Look, right. At Look at that. Get one little, little. All right, just leave that in there all weekend now. Okay. It looks like lips. It does. It looks like it looks like a <laughs> like they're up, ready to kiss. Yeah, like lips like that are kind of uh, ready to give you a little smooch. <laughs> um, okay. Well, anyway, uh, good job. Thanks for letting us uh, video your follow up, and we'll see you on Monday. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm on a camera. We're back with our pal Timber. Timber, how's it going, buddy? Oh, good. Okay, so you had this packing in over the weekend. Looks like you did a good job of not pulling it out. Thank you very much. Do you have any problems? Uh, no. Fevers, chills, pain, nothing? No. I haven't even eaten any pain medication. Well, that's fantastic. All right, Gumby Jean's going to just remove the packing now. So we have the iota form pack in there, so she's going to pull it out. On the count of three. One, two, three. Good. Okay, so that looks pretty clear. We have one little, little spot in there. Gumby, bring that forceps back over here and see if that'll just come right out carefully. See that little in there? See, that'll just come right out. Yeah, so that's not really in there. 
So. Okay, so you're healing, and the good thing is this is doing a great job of staying open, so we can we don't have to pack this anymore. Okay. Woohoo! What do you think about that? Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, that's good. All right, so this is going to take time. It's going to heal from the inside out, and all you're going to have to do going forward is just finish your antibiotics and keep a dry dressing on this. Okay. Okay. Now, if at any point you feel like you're having any trouble with it, if the uh, you know wound feels like it's getting infected or the drainage from it's you know turned uh, dark or you get a foul smell or something, just let us know or come back in. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Well, no, not too. Well, you've been a great patient. Thank you. Thanks for letting us record your the whole saga, <laughs> the whole thing. All right, bud, we're here for you if you need us. All right, thank you. Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. Okay, tell us about Meta 7. Um, I love it, and my hair is not falling off at all now, just a little few hairs here and there. So you had a big hair loss problem. Yes, I did. And now... It's perfect. It's been great. It's like normal hair. Mm-hmm. You did better. Awesome. And you like the way you feel on it? Yes, I do. <laughs> I have to catch hairs. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Well, thanks. Thank you. See the kid. Ow, ow, ow. Where's the kitty? Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. So check this out, right there. Wheeze. So I tell you about these. These come right out of your shoe. They're inserts. They measure your you measure your foot with an application on your cell phone, and they take those measurements using lasers and other computers. They sculpt this exactly to match your foot. Check this out. It's perfect for my foot. Perfectly. See that? We'll get you some gummy jean. I'm ready to try them out. We'll put a link on this video so okay. you can get one. I'm ready. You'll see a little one around here, right? Because they'll eat them? That's my answer. Really? They eat their own. <laughs> so is that why the little, some, the ones that are sort of all the same size hang together? Yeah, that's why they hang together. Oh, yeah, so the big one, and then when they get the big, they just are and loners? As I was saying, they long, oh yeah, that's loners. That's what I said. They don't hang with other big ones? No. The only time when they're mating, they'll fight to the deck. See this Maybe. one here? How do you know if they're a girl or a boy gator? The only way to check the sex is internal. Oh. Now that's a big meal. What mating season? They call, it, they call it probing. This one here? Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you something on this gator. He just got to a meeting a couple of weeks ago. Uh-huh. He don't have a right eye. He lost his eye. Found out a gator biting him. Oh. Uh. Okay, you see how he got his left eye? Yeah. Watch, let me show you something. I feel sorry for this gator, but that's Mother Nature and I. So he's gonna, he probably won't last very long with just one eye. Yeah, huh? we don't feed him. But he still can hunt though, he still can see off the side. I've just seen him with legs missing. All that there. You see the bite marks on the side? Yeah. That's from me. Huh. Another gator grabbed him. Alright. 